How to make clean drinking water when the rivers glow at night, the taps belch air, and your tongue feels like sandpaper. The world's gone quiet. No traffic, no stores, no sound but the wind through shattered windows. Somewhere out there, a storm's brewing, the kind that makes your Geiger counter sing lullabies. You're thirsty, desperate thirsty. And that rusted puddle in front of you? Yeah, it's moving. You could gamble with it, or you could make water that won't kill you in 12 hours. Find a metal pot. Doesn't matter if it's clean. Nothing's clean anymore. Could be from a burnt-out kitchen, an abandoned campfire, or the trunk of a car that smells like regret. Fill it with whatever water you've got. Swamp juice, gutter runoff, melted ice from a freezer that's been dead for months. Drop a smaller container right in the middle. Mug, can, empty bean tin. Cover the whole setup with a sheet of plastic, tarp, or the shattered visor off a biker's helmet. Weight the center so it dips right over that cup. Now wait. The sun or a fire will do the heavy lifting. Heat turns that liquid nightmare into steam, and here's the magic. Steam doesn't carry most of the killers with it. It rises, hits your cover, cools down, and drips into the cup. That's your lifeline in liquid form. The science? Simple. Water boils, leaving bacteria, parasites, and most heavy metals behind. Steam condenses into droplets, and those droplets are your ticket to surviving another day in this garbage fire of a planet. It won't taste like a mountain spring, but it'll keep you alive long enough to see tomorrow. No bottled water? No problem. Just physics, trash, and the stubborn refusal to die.